So would you like to add an actual video into the product description of the actual Shopify? Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. I'm going to show you one, two, even three ways how you can do this in a very easy and fast way. The very first thing I wanted to do is to have an actual store into Shopify. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description here from Techspress. So once you are here into the Shopify, you want to go here into the dashboard. Here into the dashboard, the very first thing you want to do is to prepare your video. So ensure your video is ready to be uploaded. This should be high quality, concised, and relevant to the product. You can host your video on a platform like YouTube or Vimeo, and you can of course host it somewhere else. This will allow to embed it directly into the Shopify store. So this is an actual video that I want to add directly here into my product description. And of course, I'm going to be adding here into my store lately. So once what we're going to do here is to load your video directly into a hosting platform. So here, what I'm going to be doing here is to open a new tab and I'm going to go for Vmail. Now here into Vmail, what I'm going to be doing here is to add the video that can be ready here to add it into my store and just add it directly. And of course, having an actual free account here into Vmail. So what I'm going to be doing here is to choose the option that says join and go for continue with Google. Since we already have an actual Google account, it's going to be much more faster to create an account in a very easy way. And just go straight to add a video directly here into Vimeo. We are now inside of Vimeo.com. What I wanted to do is to choose only the free version and go for upload a new video. And here into upload the video, I choose the file that I wanted to upload, which in this case is going to be this one. Go for open and just drag and drop the elements that are going to be already here. So we have now just added our actual video though. If you wanted to add captions to something interactive, edit it here, you can just go and go ahead of course add those elements though. In this case, what we'll be doing here is to just go and let's say for example, PLB. As you can see, we now have actually added already a video here. Now on the YouTube, you can go directly here into Shop or here into Beamio, and you can see that we have the InBeam to find the InBeam code. So this might be looking like this. So with all this information now, what we wanted to do is to, of course, log back here into Shopify. Directly here into Shopify, what we wanted to do here is to choose the product where we wanted to actually add the element into our product. In this case, let's say, for example, this one. I'm going to view this into my online store so you can see how it actually looks my product. So now what I want to be doing here is to add the product description directly here into my product description, the video. Uh, here into the actual right part. So I'm going to go here, I choose my product, and here you can see that we have the description and all the actual colored information. So what I can do here is to go all my way down, and here what I'm going to be doing here is just to delete the element that I do not want to see and to embed the video into the product description. Now into the product description field, we can add the text as usual. To the insert video, switch to the HTML view to click in here that appears into the upper side. So choose the option that says show HTML file, and you might be seeing something like this. So if I enter this two times, for example, what I can do is just to go back here into the embeamed code. I, of course, copy the embeamed code. And I go back directly here into Shopify so I can paste my actual code. So what you can do is to just adjust the video size. If the video doesn't fit the layout your product page, uh, you want to see how it actually looks. What you can do is to find the width and height attributes for the HTML and change it for the better suit on the page. As you can see here appears in Tabimio. So I choose the option that says set custom dimensions and I change this uh, into somebody else. But in this case, I'm going to go here into the upper side and go for view. Now, as you can see here, it is our actual product and the video here into the right part. So as you can see, it actually looks really simple. Uh, I see the actual Vimeo already been added here. I have something really easy added into my store. Now, there's another solution that I can show you. The other solution is to just show this directly into the product images. Instead of just adding this product directly into the description, what you can do is to just go and add it directly here into the media. So choose the option that says add, and what you can do is to add your video here, choose to open, and the video should be uploading directly here into the files. If you want to, you can choose the option that says add from URL, and what you can do is just to choose the same video that we could just upload it, and copy the link so we can paste it directly here into Shopify. So we paste the code, here, go for add file, and the video should be processing in no time. 
This will help you to ensure everything looks great before the customer see it. So as you can see now, we can see the actual video and the other one embeamed from the actual Vimeo. This was something before, this has now been updated. And this actually is going to be helping us to make more organized our actual stuff from our actual products, making it look much more interesting, much more attractive. So save your changes, hit into published, and then you're actually good to go. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video, guys. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools, how we can get started by adding more stuff directly into your actual videos or section of Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, with all that being said, we can see you to a brand new section of TechPress. See you next time.